Hey, hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night wherever you are joining us from around the world. Welcome, welcome one and all. Um, we haven't done prayer for a couple of weeks. I've had some real evening or good night wherever you are joining us. Um, there we go. That's Jess. I was just like, where's that feedback coming from? That's me. <laughs> Sorry. We don't work. All good. All good. Um, so, we, well, I've had a couple of really hectic weeks in the ministry. Susan's been really busy with um, doing some outstanding, exceptional teaching in Be Healed. Um, this Thursday, so at this time, two days from now, it'll be Wednesday evening for many of you. Um, I, I'm doing the first activation in the chair. So wherever you're joining us from, jump on and say hi. But we want to pray for you today. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Sharon. So good to have you with us. Blessings to you. Can you guys take a moment and please share the prayer cards? We want to pray for people today. So this is prayer, this is public intercession, whatever the Spirit puts on our heart. Um, I'm going to ask, uh, I might actually start. Um, no, I will actually start with Susan. That's where the Holy Spirit is leading us. So before we actually get started and start taking your prayer requests, I just want these beautiful ladies who have joined us to intercede for you today to share uh, just briefly what the Lord's put on their heart for you today. We pray it blesses you. So um, Susan, you, you go first, my dear. Uh, I just want to encourage everybody today that God wants to use you and that he lives inside of you and he just can't wait to come out. And it's wonderful that we watch these lives. It's wonderful that we can look to leaders and we can, you know, glean from them and learn from them. But then it, the big, that's just the beginning. Then after that, we take what we learn and we go and do the stuff. And so by doing the stuff, I mean, we go out and heal the sick. We prophesy, we, you know, lift up the downtrodden, whatever it is, love looks like something. I know Heidi Baker always says that, that love looks like something. And I just want to encourage who's ever watching today that Holy Spirit that lives in you wants to come out. Don't keep them trapped in the cage inside your heart because there's things and places where he wants to use you that only you're it. Like there's no one else that can do it like you. There's only one you and he can't wait to use you. So I just want to encourage you with that. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Susan. All right, Jess, I know I, I'm in the middle of, of clicking and saying hello to people. <laughs> you share what's on your heart, Jess. I just want to say hi to everyone who's here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to jump on. Um, I encourage you again to pray in the comments for other people. Uh, like Susan just said, love looks like something, and that is so true. Um, you know, the Bible says that they will know that we are Christians because of our love, not just for the people outside, but for each other in the body of Christ. Uh, so it's really important that, you know, love looks like something and that's praying for others, that's believing with them, that's standing in faith with them, that's encouraging them, that's loving on them. Um, so that's really important and it is such uh, something that's really at the forefront in this season. Uh, but there's something else too that's in the forefront and, and that is that, you know, we all have come out of a season uh, where you know a lot of us went through the fire right we were consecrated um you know we were really shaken um to, to the foundation that is jesus uh, and we've been standing and contending for the promises that he'd spoken over us uh and and i liken what we're in at the moment to something akin to what happened when the, the israelites came out of egypt and they crossed over um and the Red Sea was parted and they crossed over and we're sitting in something similar. Not that we're coming from bondage, but we're coming from a season of contending for our faith, right? Contending and, and finding out why we believe what we believe uh, and, and the promises that God's spoken over us. And at the moment, we're really standing in the middle of the Red Sea, waiting to cross over into the promised land, right? The things that God has promised us and spoken over us. And it's like we're on the threshold now. We're standing at the door. And we know what happens before our biggest breakthrough is that oftentimes that everything that can possibly come, comes at us. And I don't know about you, but I'm speaking this over myself as well in this season, um, that in the waiting, God is perfecting our ability to be patient, our ability to trust the conviction of our heart to know that he is God and that he is good um, regardless of what comes out of it that he is God and he is good and that means that he's for us right he never leaves us he never forsakes us and he's not a man that he should lie 
or the son of man that he should change his mind. Uh, so I just wanted to encourage you, if you are feeling that frustration, if you are feeling that unease about standing on the promise and seeing everything in the natural not look like it should, actually quite often it looks the opposite of what you're waiting for, um, but you're at the door. Just keep standing, right? Um, Paul writes, you know, he says to the, I can't remember which, which book it is, but he says, you know, after you've done everything to stand, stand. And what he's saying is that when you've done everything you know you're supposed to do, when you've been diligent and seeking God out, when you've been diligent to stand there, when your heart is convicted of his goodness, of his kindness and of um, who he is, then stand. Believe and stand regardless of what it looks like. And that's very much where we are. We're at the doors that have been opened. We know that this is an Isaiah 22, 22 moment in this era where God is opening doors that no man can shut and he's closing doors that no man can open. Well, your door is open and when the time is right, you will walk through it. But just trust God, stand in faith, find your peace in where you are and know that he is good. Bury yourself in his heart because he's holding yours. Hallelujah. Whoa, uh, Jess is on fire. We're on fire today. So good to have you guys here. I'm just trying to follow your comments. I'll probably lose them at some stage. Well, really what, what's on my heart today is just to is just to welcome Holy Spirit into this place. I woke up with that song um, from Matt Redman on my heart. Um, and it's just the, the, the bridge in particular. I'm just, um, I'm just going to sing it. I'm going to go for it. Um, we welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcome in this place. Let every heart away. Let every soul adore. Almighty God of love. Be welcome in this place. And I think I added my own lyrics there, by the way, but you can do that. God doesn't mind. <laughs> we just welcome you, Holy Spirit, into this place. We welcome you with what you want to bring. Uh, we welcome you with the healing you want to bring, with the breakthrough, with the uh, with the direction, with the clarity, with breaking confusion off us. Of off of us, off our minds, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah and amen. Thank you for all your lovely comments. All right, it's time for you guys now to drop your, um, oh, we've got Carmen in here too. Hello, beautiful Carmen. Drop your prayer requests into the, um, into the comments, guys. We'd love to begin praying for you. Um, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. It's good to see you, Carmen. It's good to see you in less pain than you were, my sister. Um, good to see you, darling. All right, so I'm waiting to see if there are any, um, Carmen is there just as, you, as you're jumping on, sorry to put you on the spot, but is there anything on your heart um, you'd like to just briefly pray? I can see uh, Joanna's just put a prayer request in as the prayer requests come in, if you just want to share that before we start praying for people's prayer requests. Oh, hang on. She's muted. I'm going to unmute you. All right. Um, oh, hang on, Carmen. Your sound isn't connected. That's what it's telling me at the moment. So your sound isn't connected. So just check, check your sound and we'll come back to it. All right. In the meantime, let's put Joanna's request up. Um, she's feeling like the, the Lord is stretched. Yep. <laughs> I gave a word to a lady on Sunday in church about that. It's definitely a season for stretch, my darling. Um, you want more and more of him. You love him so much. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, well, I, 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 I feel the pray into that one. If, if you guys are okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to pray into that one. Um, Joanna, I, I feel to pray over you. Just give me a moment. It's the same thing I prayed over this, over this lady. I just feel it's the season for it. Give me a moment to find the scripture because I don't have, um, I don't have my phone on me to quickly look it up. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Lord. Um, Thank you, Jesus. It is a stretching season. It's definitely a stretching season. And um, the Lord is bringing you into wide open places. Thank you, Lord. So um, Isaiah 54 verse 1 says, Sing, O barren woman, you who have not born, break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not labored with child, for more are the children of the desolate 
than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. And then it goes into enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Hallelujah. It's to, and you keep reading that. I encourage you to go and have a read of Isaiah 54. There's so much in Isaiah 54. It is a season of expanse, expansion and stretching. But he sees your heart, Joanna, and he sees how much you, you poured out to him in the secret place and he will meet you there. And just so that you know, when you're giving birth, when you when you are in, in large, when you are stretched, it is not a comfortable season, but it is glorious and it gives birth to something glorious. And just here is a declaration that needs to be in your mouth over this whole season, because as, as Jess was saying at the beginning, it's easy for us to become distracted or, or to, uh, you know, to be weighed down um, and to be caught up in the bondage where, the, where, where the, we've already actually been set free and to step through that open door. The invitation is open, but it does require some action, which is also what Susan was saying, love, faith requires action. So here is a rhema word in your mouth, Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, make it personal, and every tongue which rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We've just adapted that to suit um, the text that we um yeah, to, to suit our personal context. And I pray that that blesses you, Joanna, in Jesus' mighty name. All right, we've got a lot of prayer requests coming in now, thick and fast. Um, I don't know whether Carmen's still trying to connect. We pray her, her um, we pray everything goes through well there. All right, the shaking is shaking again. Yes, it is, Jennifer. All right, so Sally, Sally needs prayers. I'll pop her a prayer request up. Um, whoever wants to pray, just begin praying, and I'm just going to go through and check okay. who's asked for prayer so go for it i'll pray for sally sally yeah. um, you know what actually i want to pray for you because you said that you know i know you said i need prayers for your friend but you said that you're going to go and pray for her uh for her so i want to pray for you that god will use you to heal her so sally if you could just like kind of hold out your hands like you're going to receive a gift and i'm just going to pray that the lord will put fire in your hands to see your friend healed. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Sally and I just thank you for her friend. I just, Lord, I just ask you to come and, and anoint Sally um, in the name of Jesus. I just pray, Lord, that you'll put fire in your hands, Lord, that you will move through her hands. Father, you live in her. Your your power, your, your dunamis power lives in her. Your resurrection life lives in her. And I just ask, Lord God, that you'll move through her to heal her friend. And, and I just thank you for her love for, for her friend. I thank you, God. And I just ask that you will increase in her your love and Lord, that you will just impart your anointing to her right now in the name of Jesus, your healing anointing in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' name. And now, Sally, I don't know if you're feeling anything in your hands or you're, let me know if you're feeling anything, but I just bless you with that, Sally. Hallelujah. Great prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Um, Jess, would you like to take Naomi's prayer request? She'd like prayer to step into what God has for her. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. Prayers. Absolutely. Let's go for it. So, Lord, we just raise up Naomi's moment before you, and we thank you, Lord, that you live inside of her. Your word says that you are a guide, you are a wonder of a counsellor that you are the one who leads us and guides us and that we are led by your peace. Lord God, the peace that surpasses all understanding is called to be our guide because that is from you. So I thank you, Lord, that Naomi has everything she needs inside of her because you have equipped her, you have empowered her, you have called her and you have anointed her. Not just when she stepped into your spirit, but before you created her. She was yours. Her days were set out and then you made her for those days. So even though it may seem in the natural that she doesn't know where she's going, that the moment the door is ready for her to step through, Lord God, your spirit will lead her through it in peace and with empowerment, with courage and a conviction that she is stepping in the right direction. So I thank you, Lord, that you have given her strength, that you are leading around her, those who will hold up her arms and her knees, and that they will encourage and champion her along the way. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your beautiful son, Jesus, and your spirit that you have placed inside of us. We bless your holy name, and we honour and worship you, and we give you all the praise. 
Hallelujah. We have we have Carmen now joining us. Wonderful. It's good to have you guys here. I'm just um, trying to keep up with the feed and comments, guys. So if I'm between the camera and my computer, you know why. All right, Sharon is is um, wanting prayer for healing of her heart rhythm so she can move back to Brisbane soon. Fantastic, Sharon. I'd, I'd love, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. That's I, I, I knew you would, I, but well, I was wondering whether anyone else wanted to stretch out with their five-step prayer model and see how, how they work. But That's, no, 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 you go for it. You well, go for it. the reason why I want to pray for her is because God healed me of a heart condition, and I had a heart condition for like 20 I don't know how many years, 25 years. I had my prolapse, which was a heart rhythm issue. And like, it's horrible. So I understand exactly what you're going through, Sharon. So I'm just going to pray that the Lord does for you what he did for me, which was completely give me a new heart, proved on echocardiogram by the doctors who had no explanation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Fantastic. Go for it, Susan. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you that that this testimony that I'm giving about my heart, like this is prophecy for Sharon. And I just thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God. And I ask you to do it again, do it again. What you did for me, do for Sharon. And in the name of Jesus, I just speak perfect rhythm over your heart right now. In Jesus name, I speak to it. I speak to the valves. I speak to the electrical system of the heart. Every single area of the heart, you come into balance, you come into order and you have a perfect rhythm right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I just command any sickness out of our heart, any disorder to go in the name of Jesus. And I command any spirit of infirmity off of her heart now in the name of Jesus. Her heart is for the Lord. Holy Spirit, I just ask you to come and just fill her heart with your love, your presence and your peace. And I just speak the shalom of God over every rhythm in her heart. Be healed in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Jennifer, I hope that feedback is okay. I'm just making sure we're muted when we're not um, speaking. Uh, so just, uh, guys, I've, I've muted you, but just make sure you're muted when we're not speaking. So Sharon's also looking for a move back to Brisbane, um, the right place to buy with the right price. Um, hallelujah. I think that, they, would you not agree today, ladies, the theme is the open door. <laughs> theme is the open door. Thank you, Lord, for the open doors. We just trust you we trust you and god we thank you for sharon we thank you that she trusts in you her faith is in you and the action that she takes is a, is a result of her trust in you and moving when you say to move and i thank you god the doors will be open we thank you for supernatural favor on her life as she makes the move back to brisbane in jesus mighty name hallelujah make sure you come and say hi sometime sharon wherever you are if you're settling in brisbane Praise God. All right, um, Carmen, how are you now to take a prayer request? Are you all good? Let's hear your sound. Um, I'll just, yep, go for it. Yep, we can hear you. So you can pray for Kristen's request. Can you see that one? I can hear. I can hear properly. What is the prayer request? All right, so the prayer request is, uh, once again, Kristen walking into the open door. The husband had a radical encounter with Jesus, their 21st anniversary this week. Um, uh, focus is on him, on him and on the things he wants her to still hone in on. There's a little bit of feedback on your, um, on your sound, Carmen. Have you got um Okay. I am yeah, no, I'm connected little... from my phone because my computer, I don't know what happened, it crashed. Um, okay. Can you hear right. me properly? But I, I, I could hear like a little bit of uh, disturbance in the line. Yeah. No, I can hear you now. I'm muting. You pray. You good? Yeah. Sorry. I couldn't hear the prayer request because it was the disturbance. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Um, thanks, guys, for your patience. So Kristen has made a prayer request um, for walking into the open door. She's made a prayer request for her husband to have a radical encounter with Jesus. It's their 21st wedding anniversary this week. And that her focus is on him, in him, and on the things he wants her to see and to hone in on. Did you hear that? Is that okay? Yes. Yes. So Kristen um, was uh, open doors um, for her yes, husband. Yes. Well. Um, before you get started, guys, let me know if if my sound, if you're on the live, if you've, my sound is coming through clearly enough. I'll, I'll mute myself and you go ahead, um, Carmen. 
Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for Christian Lord. Thank you, Father. Mm. I just I just hear the scripture, um, Christian. Um, open doors like the door, like the Lord opened for for Cyrus, um, the King Cyrus. And in, in Isaiah, the Lord uh, the Lord says, you know, like I will open the door for him, even though he doesn't know me. And can you imagine? You know him, you know him. You know he did that for Cyrus, and he didn't know him, but you know him. So imagine the doors that the Lord is going to open for you. Thank you, Father. Ah. I just see light. I just see like a, like a, in a, in like a, you are walking in a forest and, and I see, you know, like when you see the, um, the light that is coming through and, and I see that's the Lord pointing you out on the way that you should be walking. Um, and the Lord said, you know, not, not every door that it appears is the right one. So just wait on me because the perfect one the one that I'm going to bless you, it's going to be open for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you are the one who opened the door, Father. And you are the one, Father, who is in control of every situation, Father. When you speak, Father, things happen, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray for Christian, Lord. And I declare in the name of Jesus, Father, that you are the one, Father, who chose her the light, Father. That you are the one who chose her wisdom and discernment, Father. For her to walk, Father, into, do into that way, Father, of the open doors, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father, because you are a loving daddy, Father. And I also pray for her husband, Lord. Pray, Father, for favor. In Jesus name father favor comes from you father hallelujah I, I i hear victory christian for you for everything that you are petitioning at the moment the lord is is is, is just shouting victory for you so bless you darling hallelujah thank you that's beautiful carmen beautiful prayer all right jennifer's joining us from um from youtube and jess i was wondering if you could take this one so she had some news saturday that really rattled her a bit um oh gosh i'm feeling a stirring in my spirit i know jess wants to pray for you but i want to release this over you too jennifer she's really been fighting the enemy's lies she knows their lies because you're a daughter of god jennifer but you love the prayer because sometimes here's the truth sometimes we just get tired from the battle and we need one another I need these ladies. I need. I, I need people. You need. We all need one another. We are not islands. We are not lone. I was going to say lone wolves. That sounds like a really bad metaphor. But we are not. Uh, we need one another. We need community, and we need to do this together. So, in the name of Jesus, I just break off any condemnation from the enemy. In the, in Jesus' name, that you need to have it all together. In Jesus' mighty name, I break off those accusing lies. In the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. And I'm hearing that uh, as you're saying something has left you feeling rattled. I heard that song from Elevation. I think it's Brandon Lake. Um, it, it's it's called Rattle. And if you haven't listened to it, I just encourage you to go and put it on because it's a, it's a declaration, Jennifer. This is the sound of dry bones rattling that he's bringing to life from dead things. And, he's, and because of this resurrection that's actually happening in your life, the enemy is running scared. He is afraid. So we just rebuke that in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke the accusations and we say yes to the resurrection. We say yes to the victory in Jesus' name. I'm sorry, Jess, did you have anything more to add? I just, I, I kind of was planning for you to pray and then I just had that. No, you're all good. You prayed. So I just wanted to share with you, um, Jennifer, as I was praying while well, Naomi was um, uh, prophesying and praying over you, I just heard, I'm sorry, I just saw your heart and he, Father's hands were wrapped around it and he just said, your heart is in my hands. The lies of the enemy are just that, they're lies, because he is the father of all lies and in him there is no truth. But in that, in that is the highlighting of the lie which allows you to come in the opposite spirit with faith and belief, knowing that what the enemy says is a lie, that the opposite must be the truth. Uh, and just stand on that. And it's I think it's Psalm 81. I'm just trying to find the verse for you. Uh, and it is, sorry, it won't be a second. So he's just encouraging you to speak. As I was 
<laughs> as I was hearing the words that he has your heart in your hands, but you also have his, and he was encouraging you to speak. And he gave me Psalm 8110, and it says, I, the Lord, am your God who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. He's saying, declare your truth that I am putting in your mouth over the lives of the enemy and they will become the dust under your feet. You are a weapon and you are equipped and he has your heart just as you have his. So I want to release that over you today, the strength of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, and the encourage, the courage to speak forth that which he places in your mouth. And don't worry if you don't remember the scriptures well, because Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance that which you need to speak out. But I encourage you to open your mouth. Hallelujah. Yes, we're standing with you, Sister Jennifer. We are standing with you. Now, I have a prayer request here. However, um, the person, I can't see who you are, just so you know, this prayer request. If you can just uh, go that's in. Shannon. And grab it. Oh, that's that's that Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's Shannon. How do we not know that's Shannon? All right, Shannon. All right. Okay, Shannon. Great. <laughs> Susan, you want to pray for Shannon? Go. You, you want to go? All right, Jess. I've got to go. go. I've got to, I'm off to college. So. <laughs> I've got to go to college, of course. Yeah. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you all. Bye. Yeah. All right, it's Shannon. All right, Susan, you want to pray for Shannon? Oh, yeah, God. I'm definitely you've been on my heart this morning, Shannon, um, especially with your business, but I'll let Susan pray for you. Father, I just thank you that you are the genius of geniuses and you are the marker of market, markets. Like, I just, I just thank you, Lord Jesus, that that you are a genius at everything, everything. And I just ask you, Lord God, to just, just to guide Shannon with a perfect marketing of that. She doesn't even have to worry about marketing herself, Lord, that, but you will give her wisdom. I just pray Lord that you will just anoint her with wisdom, God, with wisdom on how to go about just a strategy for this business. I just ask that you will bless her with favor, God, and that, um, just Lord, just guide her feet, guide her feet along your path. And Shannon, I'm just going to say it again. But like when I was praying for you for your birthday, I just saw a whole bunch of busyness going to start to happen. And you were at your computer and you were answering the phone and you were at your computer and you were busy, you were busy. And I really felt like the Lord was saying, like, look out, it's it, you're going to start picking up, like things are going to start happening very quickly. And you're not going to have a ton of downtime but that's a good thing because you're going to be busy with all that he's going to equip you to do and send you out to do with your business. So I just bless you with that, Shannon. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. All right. So Kath has a prayer request. It's a, it's a, a reasonably long one. And I just, um, I, I just actually want to take a moment, um, to just sit sit with this calf because this is heavy stuff. So calf has asked for some prayer for her family, especially her grown sons and her husband. So they have, um, it, it looks like they're struggling with their faith as a result of the loss of um, calf's oldest son. And we want to sit for a moment, calf, and just um, sit with you and identify with that grief and let you know how sorry we are to hear of the loss of your, of your oldest son. Um, and, you know, that that will extend the love of the father to you, um, that it's okay to not be okay in this season of grief. Grief is, a, is, is normal. It is a season we need to go through. Um, so if he's asking for prayer with that, um, that they will have a love. For that, Naomi? Sorry? Can I pray for that? Yeah, no, no. I've asked you to. I'm just, I'm just finishing going through the um the request. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. So she's asking they would have a loving connection with Father God at one time. Her youngest being the most mixed up, angry, and not well physically. Um, she says something about also about her daughter, but I can't see all of the comments. So uh, yeah, if you just want to lift up that family, Carmen, that'd be great. Yeah. Look, um, before before I. Why I am going to pray for you because before um, Naomi says your prayer, I was feeling in my heart this grief, and I saw it was somebody in the group or a few people in the group that are feeling, um, are feeling sad, are feeling that um, the Lord might not be there because sometimes you know we are human beings and we we have feelings, we have emotions, and 
and sometimes it's not that we don't have faith. It's like the problems and, and the pain overwhelm us. And it looks bigger than, than, than what the truth is, which, which is the Lord is, is, is with you. And I hear the Lord is with you. That's what I, the Lord showed me. Um, you know, I, even though we're going through difficulties, even though you're going through this, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with your children. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter what you believe in this moment, because the Lord sees you. He sees your heart. He knows, and He understands your children. We all have, uh, we all have a walk that we have to do, and, and Emmanuel, God with us. God is with you. God is with you. Um, and I, and I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, for you are in control of everything, Lord. You are a loving Daddy, Papa. And I lift this lady, Karen, Father, in the name of Jesus. I lift her children, Father. And I pray, Father, that you are the one, Father, who change, Father, these tears, this pain, Father, and you give her joy, Father. Do an exchange in her heart, Lord. Do an exchange in the heart of their children, Lord, in, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that more than ever, Father, I pray, Father, for the manifestation of your presence, Father, near her, Father. While she is sleeping, Father, you will be cuddling her, Father. As she waking up, Father, she will see you, Father, and she will know that you are there, that you are acting behind the curtains, Father, that you are doing something, Father, even though we don't look at it, Father, even though it's, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen, Father, but it's going to happen because you are there, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that you hug her, Lord, that you kiss her, Father, with your love, Lord, that you touch her with, Father, eternal peace, Lord, that comes only from you, Father, that one that surpasses human understanding, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, that you know all her thoughts, that you know, Father, all, all what she needs, Father, because you are the one that gives her everything that she needs, Father, in Jesus' name. And Psalm 102, in the name of the prayer, is prayer of afflicted man for mercy on himself and on Zion, a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pour out his complaint to God. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of the distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call you. Answer me quickly. And the Lord will answer you quickly, darling, because the Lord knows you. And doesn't matter what you're feeling at the moment. Just be assured, because this is what the Lord told me. Be assured that he is with you, that he is caring, that he is there, and he's acting behind the scenes. He has heard your prayer. He has heard your heart. Sometimes we don't, when we are in pain, we cannot articulate words. But he hears the words that come out of your heart. So, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Papa, for this beautiful lady, Lord. I bless her, Lord. And I pray you that is with us, Lord, is with her at this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Carmen. Praise God. Praise God. All right. I'm just going through our prayer requests um, systematically as I can. Thanks for your patience, guys. Let's lift up beautiful Jill, who has had some continuing abdominal problems then we'll live at uh, uh, Della Della I hope I've said your name right beautiful lady must be very late in Great Britain right now um has also had some some pain in her body Susan do you want to take Jill and I'll take Della um for healing in the name of Jesus hang on Susan's a bit frozen I'm frozen but I'm here can you hear me I right, can hear you go for it okay okay Jill um, I'm just going to pray. So Father, I just thank you that you are Lord over Jill's body. And I just say any, any infection in her body leave right now in the name of Jesus. Go now in Jesus name. I speak to any pain and distress and any infection. And I command you to bow to the King and leave her body right now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of affliction, I bind you now and I command you to go in Jesus mighty name. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name and don't come back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you look beautiful even though you're frozen, Susan. We can hear you. 
<laughs> we can hear you. All right, let's lift up beautiful um, Della, mighty woman of God. And that's what I really heard the Lord speak over you as I saw your prayer request came up, mighty woman of God. And so this pain that you have in your right side in the ribs area, um, I'm, I am, I am not a doctor, um, Adela, but I just, I just heard the Lord say, um, well, I think I heard the Lord say, so, uh, let me know. Have you had anyone check your gallbladder? Have you had anyone check your gallbladder? That's, that's just, that could be a word of knowledge. I don't know. But one way or another, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that pain on the right-hand side near the ribs and I command that pain out in the name of Jesus. And any affliction, spirit of affliction attached to that pain out in the name of Jesus. This is a mighty woman of God and her body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, you do not have a right to stay in this body. We command you out in Jesus' mighty name, out in the name of Jesus. Let us know, um, Della, if you're experiencing anything in your body right now um, or any kind of feedback whatsoever, we would love to hear. We'd love to hear if, if you're experiencing anything in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you guys for praying for one another in the comments. That's actually really super helpful for us as we try and go through. All right. Praise God. Praise God. All right, um, Carmen. Yes. Sorry, I muted myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Carmen, Carol is requesting prayer. She has um, first in sales in her business on Saturday. So, would you like to lift up your Carol? Carol is her name for yes. her business. Carol, uh, I don't know what her business is, but she's praying for awesome sales in her business on Saturday. Okay, what what is happening on Saturday for her business? Um, I don't know, Carol. You'll need to let us know in the comments what's actually ha happening. Um, praise God! All right, before I put that up, Della has said that the pain has really gone down. So let's pray again um, before we move into Carol's prayer request. So I'm just going to mm. put from my Carmen people feel a lot of feedback on your on your sound. Um, Okay, so Carmen, it's craft sales that she's got, craft sales. I love it. I love craft. Um, Susan, I know, is going to want me to pray again, aren't you, Susan? So let's pray again. Let's pray again for Della. Della says the pain has really gone down. So we are speaking to that pain. In the name of Jesus, you know who you are. You know you have no authority. You have no authority to be in that woman of God. So we command all of that pain to go right now in Jesus' name, right now in the name of Jesus, right now in Jesus' name. Pain, go now. Thank you, Jesus. I just see fire all over you right now. Bella, let us know if you're experiencing that. I see fire all over you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty to save in Jesus' mighty name. All right, so Carol has got... Um, craft sales up this particular mm, Okay, great. So you, uh, I'll mute my Carol, I heard, you know, I, I had a vision of opening doors like, you know, like you are having an event and that's what I was asking, what were you selling? And I received this word, which is in Jeremiah. I'm going to read very quickly. He said to me, son of man, eat what you find in this book. Eat this scroll, then go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he fed me the scroll. Hallelujah. Yes. So what I what I felt, I'm going to pray this, but what the Lord was showing me is we need to pray over your, you are going to be instrumental. You know that we are the messengers of the good news. We are the ones who share the good news. And there are different ways that the Lord put in our hearts to share. And the Lord has put in my heart to tell you this your craft when you when you paint there will be something that has the essence of god that will be able to to manifest the presence of god like tell the good news uh through through this through this and i'm gonna pray for people to be able to see what the lord has put in your hand when you were doing these crafts so thank you father thank you lord 
Thank you, Jesus, for, for this beautiful lady, Lord. Thank you, Father, for her business, Father. Thank you for the gift that you have put in her hands, Father, that you bless her hands, Father, in Jesus' name. And I declare in the name of Jesus, Father, that she will not, not only have a, 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 good, a good sale, Father, on Saturday, Father, but also, Father, that this craft, Father, will speak of you, Lord. Will, Father, will manifest your presence to others, Father, during this event, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, that she, Father, she, because she eats the word of God, because she, you are the one who feeds her the scroll, Father. She is the one, Father, who speak the good news to others. Father, thank you, Lord, for the boldness, Lord, that you are placing in her heart, that you are placing in her mouth, Father, for she will testify, Lord. She will tell a story of how she got this art. How did she make every piece, Father, when they ask her? Father, in Jesus' name, I Holy Spirit, I pray for opportunities, Lord. Create the opportunities, Holy Spirit, for her to share the good news, Lord. You are amazing, Father, and you are the best evangelist, Father, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are awesome. And I pray, hallelujah, I pray, Lord, the good news will be communicated. They will be shouted, Father, in that event, in Jesus' name, Father. Father, and you are the one who blessed this lady, Father. You are the one who blessed Carol, Father. Father, I pray, Father, for, a, for a revenue. I pray for profit, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, because every good blessing comes from your hand, Lord. In Jesus' name, I bless her. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Powerful prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that, um, Carmen. Okay, um, I'm going to lift up this prayer for your sister, Carolyn, I know this has been a long, a long battle and, um, yeah, I'm going to pray for her. And then, uh, Sione, I, I hope I've said your name correctly. If I haven't, please forgive me. We're going to lift up Carolyn. I know it's been a massive struggle for the family, for Mark, and we're just going to continue to believe that God is going to continue to do what he's, what he's begun. He's going to continue to do. And so in the name of Jesus, Carolyn, we just come behind you and we lift up your tired arms. We, uh, we thank you, God, this, that scripture in Isaiah that says to uh, lift up the tired arms and to strengthen the, like to lift up the hands that hang down and to strengthen the feeble knees. And I thank you for strength to Carolyn, to Mark, to the whole family in Jesus' name. I've forgotten the name off the top of my head of your daughter, your beautiful daughter, but strength to each one of you in the name of Jesus as you continue to cling to him. We thank you, God, that you are imparting fresh strength to them and the work that you've begun in, in Mark's body, Lord, we thank you. You continue to do so. We thank you and praise you for the miracle that's happened already and we give you thanks in advance for the miracle you're still out working in his body and we speak total healing in Jesus' name, total healing through all of the sinews of the flesh, for the blood to flow normally in Jesus' mighty name, for all affliction to be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Peace like a river to that family in Jesus' name. For perfect shalom over um, Carolyn's heart and mind that you keep her in Christ Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah and amen. Praise you. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Praise you, Father. Um, beautiful comments. You guys are doing a wonderful job of praying for one another in the comments. Thank you for doing that. Um, Susan, I was wondering if you'd like to, I haven't seen Sione before. I haven't seen you on. Um, if you have been, I'm welcome. If this is your first time on the broadcast, apologies if I've said your name wrong. But she's asking for prayer for her family, for God's protection, healing from depression, deliverance from all vices. Oh, there's fire all over that right now, but I'm going to let Susan pray. Whoa, fire on that. Go for it, Susan. Well, you know what? When I read your post, and I don't know if I'm I'm seeing correctly, but I just keep seeing smoking. And I don't know if, if, if there's a lot of smoking addiction going on in your family, you know, along with everything else. But I just, I just ask you, Father, to come and just break addiction off this family in the name of Jesus. Lord, anything, anything that's being worship that's not you lord we just say leave this home in jesus name in jesus name father any any crutch to lean on that's not you is just a substitute of who you are and i just i just thank you lord for Sione's heart god for her desire to see her family set free and lord we just ask you to come and just remove depression from the atmosphere 
in the name of Jesus and every vice, God, every vice. And I just ask you, Lord, to strengthen Sione, that you will just become brighter and brighter within her, Lord, and that as she even walks through her home, as she walks through her family, God, that you just leak out of her onto everyone else in that family. And I just ask you, Lord, that she becomes stronger and stronger and stronger in her faith, regardless of what's going on in her family, God, and that the impact of who you are in her will completely transform her family. And I just pray, God, that her life will be a testimony to every member of that family, that they will start craving you when they see her life. So I just ask you, Lord, to come and increase right now in her. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to come and just give her a baptism of your love and fire right now, Lord God, so that nothing can take away her joy, regardless of what's going on in her family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Um, we'd love to hear your testimony, Sione. We'd love to hear what the Lord's doing. And if Susan was hearing correctly about the smoking, whether it's like nicotine or some other type of drug, um, we love to hear feedback on what we're hearing. I just want to um, put up here, this is, this is Shannon. <laughs> this is Shannon um, who can't join us today, but I um, but is, is with us on online and praying for us. And, and this is a powerful word she's released. Actually, I'm going to go and look up Micah. What is it? It's Micah 2.13. Hang on, just give me a moment, guys. I'm going to find that. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I've got my Bible in front of me, Naomi. Uh-huh. It is a minor prophet, though. So in a paper Bible, it's uh, just a little bit of a, can be a little bit tricky. Where am I? I'm, uh, here we go. Micah 2.13. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Micah 2.13 says, uh, the one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate and go out by it. Their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. What a great word. Thank you for sharing that one, Shannon. And we do speak to all affliction in anyone's body, in anyone's mind and heart on this, under the sound of my voice or whether you're here live or on the replay, affliction as we come into agreement with what our sister Shannon has said, you hear the word of the Lord and you go now. Because we are speaking healing to everyone on this line and we are speaking breakthrough according to Micah 2.13 that we will break out, pass through the gate, go out by it with the King, with the Lord at our head. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Kristen, for your beautiful comment. Beautiful comment. Praise God. I'm just seeing if anyone else has got any more prayer requests. Otherwise, we, we might. Uh, start to wrap up as um yeah we've we've been travailing in 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 prayer and 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 we ask you and thank you Kristen for your encouragement we ask you also to pray for us because we um you know we are pouring out within this ministry within the teachings right now Susan is pouring her heart and soul into the be healed healing school if it's been blessing you let us know in, in the comments jump on and interact in the group um there's a lot of time that's gone into it guys so we really um need your prayers as well and i thank you to those i, I don't know if jennifer's still on the line i know jennifer reached out to me just the other day and said you are you are on my heart and um i just want to uh, thank you for your prayers jennifer it was just like oh gosh there was a day i really needed to hear that so thank you guys thank you for praying for us um carolyn has a testimony that we really need to share because it's amazing she has a testimony for her husband mark today he sat up in a wheelchair today and was wheeled out of his room today sat upright for the longest period of time since the end of january he cried he was so happy and I, ho I hope this is okay to share, but the situation with Mark was very, very dire, um, uh, I, you know, a, a short time ago, guys, a few weeks ago around Easter. So this is an amazing testimony and amazing healing. And we just ask you, Lord, to just continue in your faithfulness to them. Um, Sione has said she agrees. Um, powerful anointed prayers. Claimed it completely. Yes. Delivered her brother um, Marlon and um mary god continue to bless and anoint you my dear sisters yes we receive that thank you sione for your beautiful prayers hallelujah all right i think we have one more prayer request from um retha i hope i've said your name correctly um carmen do you want to pray for this beautiful um this beautiful person 
Retha, Aretha? Uh, yeah, R-E-T-H-A, Retha. And there's no, I don't, I don't have any more information on that. Okay, what is the prayer for? Uh, they've just asked for prayer, nothing specific. Okay. Just pray if you feel led. Is that a lady or a, or a gentleman? I don't know as there's no um, profile picture, but uh, if you can let us know, Retha, just so we're, we're, uh, we understand, <laughs> that would help. Thank you, Papa. Thank you for Retha, Lord. Thank you, Father, you know, I don't know, I think it's a, maybe a man, I don't know. <laughs> Father, you know this person, Lord. You know him, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. I I see the vision of tambourines just playing up. I don't know if you play instruments, but I believe the Lord has called you to worship. And you don't, you don't have to have a nice voice or you don't have to probably know to play an instrument to be a worshiper. It's just the worship that comes out of your heart to the Lord that, that, that connects us to heaven, that connects us to his heart. And, and, I, and, I, and I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that you, Father, put the worship in his mouth, Lord, that you put the worship in his body, in his hands, Father, every time he dances, Father, every time he rejoices, every time he laughs, Father, because of happiness comes from you only, Lord, Father. Thank you. Thank you that this, this one is a worshiper in the spirit and in truth, Lord, in Jesus' name. And as, ah, hallelujah, as, as the worship is elevated into heaven, Father, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, Shakarayama. Supernatural realm is open, Father, for this one, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father. Not only that, Father, but your glory comes, Father, comes down, Lord. Father, not only to him, but to every, 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 everybody who is around. Father, that animals, the bears will come and join him while he's worshiping. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray, Father, for blessing. I pray, Father, that you are the one, Father, who is with this one, Lord, that you love, Father, from eternity to eternity, Father, that you are the one who blesses, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father, that this one is like a David, Lord, like a David, Father, that has the faith, Father, that David has, Father, has the intimacy that David has. Father, this one will have a great intimacy with you, Father, that it will be known to be your friend, Father. I bless this person in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. That was that was that was Tell powerful. Me. Yep. Can I share something? Uh yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, uh, the Lord has put in my heart. It just, you know, when you ask me, the Lord remind me um of some events that happened to me just a few times. Um when I was walking in the garden, you know, like I, I um I was walking in the garden and I, I like to care of my flowers and my plants. And I, I saw my son was making signs from the window. And I and I I, I didn't know why. So then, she, and then I came, what, what, what happened? I can't hear you. And he said, look, mom, who is behind you? And I, as I was walking, this little um, bird, um, now Michal, what is the name of this little, um, this little uh, waggy, waggy, what black tail those little black it's bears a, it's a willy wagtail willy wagtail that's the name of the bear so this willy wagtail was following me as i was carrying you know from one pot to the other pot he was uh walking uh and i was like mm, that's weird so i didn't get it you know like i was like okay then the day after i was carrying all my old plants um and then um, I had the table outside and this Willie Bucktail was on the table. And then he started to just talk to me, like, but you know, like in a, in a kind of way of pay attention to me, you know, like, me, 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 me. like he was like, you know, like talking to me and I was like, oh Lord, what, what, what is this? And, and the Lord said to me, uh, you are not hearing what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm trying to say to you, pay attention. Pay attention, just listen to me. And I was like, oh, I was so distracted on the flowers, you know. <laughs> anyway, what the Lord told me was, I look for this willy wag tail. And there are two words in this. The Lord is with you. The Lord is walking all the time with you. He's following every every step that we're walking. 
And also, when I was looking at the Willy Wag tail, there was something interesting about this little bird that apparently he sings during the night, especially when it's like a full moon. And, and it's believed like uh, there, there is like a, a kind of um, metaphor for us as well. And when we pray at night, we elevate our, our voices to the Lord because they, they, just, they just sing during the night. They, just, they, are like it, they are like an intense prayer. They, they sounded like that. So uh, and I, and I, and I, and I believe that there are so many people we are going through many things you know because of the outpouring that is coming we are going through this preparation we are going into this new thing you know and and and, and the lord is just you know talk to me you know we don't have to do these fancy prayers you know like that's holy spirit who does the fancy prayers you know sometimes we just start with what is in our hearts but it's just the communication to the lord lord you know I don't know. I don't understand. Oh Lord, yes, I'm here, but you know, it's just a grateful heart, a grateful heart for everything that we go through. You know, in in the good things, like you know, like when we when a, a man and a woman they do vows, they said, you know, we will be there in love, in good times and in bad times, in good times and in sickness. In, in, you know, until until that sets apart. That's what they. I think the most of the marriage both say and the same for us with the lord doesn't matter what we go through we will have that vow we, we are married to the lord we are his bride so we have that vow and say lord doesn't matter what i'm going through you know this comes to me father but i know father that i'm with you and we never get away from you because you are going to take me to the other way i don't know how i don't know when it doesn't it looks impossible but the lord will cross you to the other side so just keep courage keep courage and keep your joy because don't don't let the enemy take away your joy doesn't matter the circumstance don't let him to rob your joy because the lord is with you and the lord is fighting for you he will come to your defense and you will see you will see that your breakthrough will come and then you will see back and say, why did I allow my, my, my joy to be robbed? Why? Amen. No Amen. Yes, we, um, I, I, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I tried to put up an image on screen of a willy wagtail because it's a cute little Australian bird. And they are, they are full of joy. They, they sit and they, they wag their tails. They're really, really cute. And I know Susan loves our Australian birds because we post a few of them up and she can hear them. Um, oftentimes in the background when I'm recording because they're just, they're just, we have birds everywhere. We have birds everywhere. All right, guys, we are just about to, um, thank you, Joy, but we're just about to wrap up for today. I'll probably just um, close with a Sione's prayer for her for her family, for provision, for supernatural strength, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll probably just uh, close it out there today, guys, because it's... Um, Hang on a minute. I uh, uh, hang on a minute. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second. Um, no, I can't, I can't fix it. I can't fix it to put it on solo layout at the moment. Why don't we do it? Um, all good. All right. Thank you, guys. As I work around the technology, I'm getting better with this. But we're just going to pray for Sione. We're just going to lift up that family. Lord, we thank you for the blessing that's upon the family. And I thank you, Lord. The scripture that comes to mind is the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. So I thank you, God, as you are lifting and breaking off the bondage in that family as they are actually, it is your love that is, is um, surrounding your fierce love, breaking chains off that family. God, that you are providing for them and that there is no sorrow. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away in Jesus' mighty name. Financial needs met, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your provision and for that supernatural strength to come in and infuse, particularly Sione, as she is here warring on behalf of her family. Strengthen her in Jesus' mighty name. Strengthen her in Jesus' name. And we, Lord, we just thank you that you give strength to the weak. We, You give strength to the weak. Bless you guys. Praise God. All right. We, we hope that this has blessed you. Please share the broadcast. Oh, Ella's jumped on right at the end from Alabama. It's always lovely to have you on, beautiful lady. Um, we love you guys. Thank you for um, 
Thank you for joining us today. Um, you know, Jess was here earlier, had to run off to Bible college. These ladies have really hectically busy lives um, and yet they, you know, they pour into this ministry, they pour into their own ministry, they pour into their families and I just want to honour um, them for that. And thank you guys for jumping on and joining. Oh, it's Ella's birthday today. Happy birthday, Ella. Um, may the blessings of God chase you down in this season in Jesus' mighty name. We just thank you, God, for that in Jesus' mighty name. So, guys, um, take a take a moment, share the broadcast um, if this has blessed you and you think it's going to help someone else or tag a friend in it. We love you. And um, look, no matter what, what crazy things are happening in our world right now, this is a season for open doors. This is a season to see breakthrough. This is a season to hold on in amidst the the, the just the craziness of this season. <laughs> hold on. He is holding you. And just remember, when you do not have the strength to go on, he is carrying you. He is carrying you through this season. You can lean back and you can rest in him. He is a good, good God. We love you guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, be sure to jump on to, I think it's week four, Susan's teaching um, tomorrow, tomorrow evening for, for those of you in the United States. So tomorrow, the uh, lesson four, Be Healed. I think we're being activated in the word of knowledge. Very excited about that. Um, and on Thursday morning, Brisbane time, it'll be Wednesday evening for many of you in the United States. Jump onto the Zoom. I am doing an activation in the share. I'm going to teach you guys how to prophesy from scripture. It's going to be great. Um, if you can't make the Zoom, I'm going to stream it live so that you guys can watch the replay and still be activated into this gift and practice it. I'm excited. Who's excited? Let me know. We love you. Don't be swayed by what your eyes see. Stay in faith. Breakthrough is here. He's got you. We've got you. We love you and continue to dream big with God always. All right. Love you. Bye.